When it comes to the economic impact of the Olympics in Paris, one independent study puts the number around $9.7 billion. With that in mind, our Brett Forrest is reporting more about the sports economy closer to home and how much the industry brings to our city. A massive economic impact expected to benefit Paris from these Olympic Games, but how much does the sports economy contribute here in Olympic City, USA? That's the question I set out to answer, and it turns out it's a difficult question. When you consider the biggest economic drivers in Colorado Springs, you might think of aerospace and defense, healthcare or education or tourism. But let's not discredit the sports economy. Our most recent data uh, is from 2018 to quantify what the sports economy means. And that was half a billion dollars is the economic impact. That estimate from six years ago has likely grown. But as it turns out, there's no current definitive measurement of the sports economy in Colorado Springs, which is why the Sports Corp and UCCS College of Business are launching a first of its kind economic impact study into the industry. You want to care because if the government is funding things or we had the City of Champions initiative here. Are we getting a return of, of investment as a, as a society and as a community that, that it's worth investing in those types of things? Colorado Springs, Olympic City, USA is home to professional sports teams, collegiate sports, multiple national and international events, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Training Center, committee and museum along with 26 Olympic national governing bodies, like Team USA basketball, swimming, cycling, and hockey. We have about 85 people on staff here full time uh, who contribute within the community a variety of ways. That's Pat Kelleher with USA Hockey. He says it's not just their employees contributing to the economy, but all of the events and conferences they bring to town too. And the USOPC would love to have more of the NGBs here. I know they've been pretty active with, with some NGBs that aren't in Colorado Springs to try and bring more of, of those organizations here to the Springs. The Sports Corp, which operates in partners with multiple events in town, says those events alone brought in almost 300,000 spectators, 25,000 athletes, and over 50,000 room nights in 2023, accounting for over $100 million in economic impact for the community. The more people we bring in to stay at hotel rooms and rent cars, that then generates LART rental tax, lodgers and automobile rental tax, and that then goes back into a pot to bring more things to the city. But in terms of the overall sports economy, that analysis and data collection will take well over a year. Tommy Eicher with the UCCS College of Business says the sports industry could make up as much as 5 to 10 percent of the local economy. We can show that there is a value to the community, that there is an economic driver with this. And so if we're using funding that comes from the state or the local governments, there is a return on that investment for our local population. So when can we expect the data and know how much sports actually contribute to the region? Well, if all goes well, that presentation could be coming in December 2025. I'm Brett Forrest reporting News 5.